Bobby Flay says the best burgers are simple, juicy, and messy. These cowboy sliders capture that in every bite. Packed with so much flavor, you'll be begging for more. Enough talking, let's get cooking. The first thing we're going to knock out is making some candied jalapenos. You need a mandolin and a lot of jalapenos. Like, I want y'all to see how many jalapenos I have. I got a whole bucket full of them. If you don't have a mandolin, this does, you can use a knife, but if you are using a mandolin, again, be careful using one of these because these are very dangerous. And then you just wanna slice them into small pieces. And candied jalapenos are the perfect balance between sweet and spicy. I'm a big sweet heat type of guy. Y'all know me, I'm not very big into the spicy flavor, but sweet heat, I will easily and gladly take any day of the week. If you don't want it as spicy, you can de-seed the jalapenos before doing so, but there's no fun in that. Be a man. As my dad would say, every time he would make me something spicy and I would complain it was too spicy for me, he told me to be a man. So dad, shout out to you for telling me to be a man. Oh, and I almost forgot the bacon. Go ahead and put this in a 400 degree oven. Go ahead and knock this out while you're doing the jalapenos. Knock two things at once, but put this in a 400 degree oven, cook it till crispy because we're gonna be eating this later. I cut them to about probably like a quarter inch. I don't know how big that is, but I cut them to this thing. I don't want them too thin because I want them to hold up when we do candy them. So we can go ahead and set this aside now. Our potion begins with a big pot and some apple cider vinegar. We're gonna go over the top with some sugar. There are candied jalapenos, so it will be a lot of sugar. Calm down, please. And then we have garlic powder, turmeric, and celery seed. All very simple stuff. And then you just wanna give this a good mix. And you wanna bring this to a boil, just so we can let that sugar dissolve. And your house is gonna to start to smell funky. I'm not even gonna to lie to you. So turn the fan on, open a window while you do this, because this smell will be in your house for a little bit, just from that turmeric. It is very strong. Bring this up to a boil, and then once it's boiling, we'll knock it down to a simmer and we'll let it do its thing. Keep an eye on that bacon, don't let it overcook. Okay, now once it's boiling, go ahead and knock it down to a simmer. You don't want it to let it get, get too foamy. So if it starts foaming up, go ahead and just turn that heat down till it stops foaming. So turn it down, we'll let it do its thing. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Once it gets boiling, it'll boil up real fast, but just go ahead and knock it down to a simmer. And then once it's simmering, just let it do its thing for five minutes and then we'll come back and add the peppers to it. Now after five minutes, you're gonna turn this back up and bring it to a rolling boil. Boil this bad boy. And we're gonna to continue to do this. So after it brings to a boil, we're gonna add the peppers, knock it back down again. I'll show you what that looks like. Don't worry, I got you. And it's gonna happen really fast. We see that it's boiling. We'll go ahead and add all of our peppers back to it. A lot of peppers, for real. Add all the peppers, give it a good mix. And then you wanna bring this back up to a boil one last time, and then we'll let it reduce. I had this at a restaurant a couple years back and that was the only time I've been at a restaurant and had to ask the chef what he did to make this. And he told me, and ever since that, I've been in love with these. I love that sweet and spicy flavor. And I've made them ever since. Like I said, they go good on everything. Now that we see it's out of boil, we'll go ahead and knock this down to a simmer one last time. And we'll let this simmer for about four minutes. We'll come back and we'll drain them all. And after those four minutes, now you can take all your jalapenos out. Look how they look. Good and beautiful. And you can transfer them to a jar. But don't dump that liquid out. I know I said we could drain it, but not yet. We're gonna have to bring that liquid back up to a boil just to reduce a little bit. And then that will go over the top of the jalapenos. And then whatever you have left that you don't wanna use, you can either save it or drain it. Like I was saying, just bring this back up to a boil and you're gonna let this boil for six minutes. And then after that, you can turn the heat off and then dump all that liquid into that. I'll show you all that, but just let that boil for six minutes. Beautiful. Now after those six minutes, you can take all that liquid and just dump them right on top of the jalapenos. Oh, this is gonna be so good. And like I was saying earlier, you can use this in so many different applications. You can brush this on some bacon, mix this in some mashed, really anything. I'm probably nasty with how I'll use it, but anything that you think this would be good on. Our jalapenos got them knocked out. Now you can just store these in the refrigerator for one to four weeks. The more they sit, the better they get, but keep them in an airtight container though too, just to keep them safe, keep you healthy. But we'll move this to the side and get started on our ground beef that's hot. Obviously we begin with avocado oil. I need to get some more avocado oil out of that. And then we'll go in there with some onions. And then like always guys, the recipe will be down below. I don't know if I mentioned that, we'll add all the onions. I know me, I love my onions. Give that a good mix and we'll let this soften for one to two minutes. And then we'll go in there with our ground beef next. And then after a couple minutes, we'll go in there with our ground beef. You can use ground turkey, but why would you use ground turkey if you're making sliders? You know what's crazy? Over like the past two years, sliders, I feel like I've taken over the internet. I've seen so many different variations and I love them all, honestly. I really do. It's so cool to see the creation that, that you can do with something so small, you know? But go ahead and just brown this up. 
let it get color on it. Once it begins to brown, we'll come back, season it up, and we're pretty much done after that. To season this up, we're gonna go with a little bit of salt, our onion powder, and then of course, equal parts garlic powder. And then last but not least, we'll go over the top with just a little bit of chili powder. This is my perfect mix when I make burgers. I think this is top tier elite. And then just give this a good mix to combine. We'll let this finish cooking, cook out all that pink, and then we'll go ahead and sit this to the side and we'll make our cowboy butter. And then we can take this party home. Beginning with our cowboy butter, we need some cowboy butter. Not cowboy butter, but just butter. We're gonna make it cowboy style. And if you haven't seen my video earlier, I made some cowboy butter, did like a steak test against it. Amazing, we're going there with some thyme, some chives, and it's really just like a combination of so many herbs and spices going into one thing and just making it spectacular. We'll go a little bit of parsley, then we're going there with some garlic, a little dash of heat. We'll go just a little bit of cayenne pepper. If you like more spice, guys, add it. Smoked paprika. I know I've been craving about this smoked paprika lately. We're going over the top of that with just a little bit of red peppers. Again, if you like spice, add more of that. We'll go in there with this nice teaspoon of pepper, some Dijon mustard, about a tablespoon of that, and then a nice small pinch of salt. Give this one good mix, and you have something spectacular, amazing. I love kawaii butter, I know this is gonna be so good. Believe me when I say that. To one of the best inventions of my lifetime, we're gonna take a serrated knife and we're just going to cut this right down the middle. And how I like to do it, I like to just turn it. I have bad luck when I try to do it all in one piece. So I cut one side, Follow that serrated knife across to the other side. Do the same thing on the last end. One last turn. And you connect it where you started. And that makes it so much easier to take the top off. We can set that to the side. Now we can put this on a baking tray. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. Now take all that cowboy butter, not all of it, but probably about two tablespoons. And we'll paint the bottom of our buns. Jeez, 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 this is making me so happy. I'll probably smash all 12 of these in a day. And these are great for parties too, as well. You can't go wrong with these. I know if you brought these out at a boys party, these would get tore up from the flow up, no doubt. And this is gonna be a great dipping sauce after. So whatever cowboy butter you have left over, when you get it done and ready to eat the rolls, save some of it, paint the top of it again, dip the sliders in there, and you have something special. Next, you wanna bring back all that ground beef and just dump it right on top of it. Drain the fat. If there's any fat left, go ahead and drain that, take it out. You obviously don't want that in this, but take all that ground beef and you just build yourself a nice masterpiece. I'm trying to be all cute with it. After you got your beef down, I'm gonna go over the top with those candied jalapenos. And those juices is gonna be perfect. Add a little bit more sweetness to it. Y'all know me, I say it in every video. I have a sweet tooth and I like to add good sweet to anything I can, honestly. I'm not just adding sugar to everything, but if something can have a little sweetness to it, I will take that any day of the week. And then the next best thing, bacon. Who doesn't love bacon? All that bacon we cooked earlier, load it up. I told y'all this is gonna be messy. It's simple, messy, and juicy. All the things that we love in a burger. I'm generous here. I'm not saving no bacon. I love bacon, I've been snacking on this, so. I ate my fair share of bacon. And then of course, every burger needs is cheese, so go to the top of that with some cheddar cheese that you can use whatever cheese you like. Some pepper jack cheese would be good. Some provolone, some gouda. Oh, I love cheese so much. And then top it off, we're going over the top with some crispy onions. You're probably asking yourself, wow, Dre, you're really using store-bought fried crispy onions? Yes. If I didn't need to, I would make them myself. But in this application, if you did make them fresh, they'd probably get a little bit soggy. It wouldn't have that texture that you're looking for. And this is probably gonna hold up a lot nicer. And they don't taste that bad, to be honest. Don't knock until you try it. I'm not gonna lead you all in the wrong direction. Then you just wanna bring back that top bun and you just crown your king. That is a big slider right there. I know it doesn't get no better than that. And then of course, that cowboy butter is gonna make everything. Bake in the oven tastes so much better. So sprinkle a little bit more, I said sprinkle, but paint your buns with more of that cowboy butter. All these beautiful herbs in it. Don't miss any spot, gee. So now you just wanna tint this with a little bit of foil. I don't think that's gonna fit long ways. So we'll have to do two pieces. And this is just so the, the top of the buns don't get, don't get hard cooked too fast. It's gonna allow that cheese to melt. So just put this in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes and then take it to top off for an additional three minutes till the top gets golden brown. And then we'll pull them and then we'll be ready to crack into this. They're out the oven, smell great, look great. Let's paint these bad boys up with just a little bit of that 
cowboy butter that you have left remaining. Oh my lord, it looks good. Got some nice color to them. And I like my sliders with a little bit of crisp too. Comment down below if you're the same way. It's a nice little texture contrast. Let's see if we can get a good cheese pull. Oh my goodness, I can tell this is a big boy. Oh my gosh. No cheese pull, but that looks delicious. So much in it. The crispy onions, bacon, jalapenos. Oh my lord. Time to take a bite. This has to be the best and the worst part of America. All stuffed into one bite. My mouth is watering. I'm ready to bite into this. Cheers to y'all. Eat good food. Oh my God. I had to finish that slider before I came back and said anything else. I don't think it's an over exaggeration to say I'm in love with these. The candied jalapenos, the cowboy butter, all things phenomenal. Everything else stuffed inside that perfect Hawaiian rolls taste amazing. You can't go wrong with these. I might smash all 12 of these myself today. That's how good they are. But like always guys, I appreciate all the love and support. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. It may not mean much to you, but it means everything to me. And if I don't tell y'all enough, I appreciate it more than y'all know. Comment down below what I can do different, what I can do next. Y'all know the whole deal. Come back next week. I got a banger. Peace.